Good morning. We're on a tremendous journey together in this ninth wave as we begin to put all of the pieces of our consciousness together <laughs> and remember who we are and come together in a way that as we look back on it in the future we will think it was nothing short of miraculous. That's sort of how I felt about the dream that I had this morning when I woke up and I laid there for probably an hour just still in the energy of that dream. It was one of the walking on air or hovering in air dreams that I've had lots of times in my life. That I, in reflecting on it this morning, that I believe are given to me to remind me that I am more and lighter than just this physical body and experience that I am having as a human being. Although in the dreams, these walking on air dreams, I still have a body. I mean, I still see myself as having a body. Now perhaps if you were to take a picture of me in one of those dreams, it would come out as an orb. And many of you may be familiar with orbs that are showing up in our digital photographs. It's quite a phenomenon. Just round balls of light. But that round ball of light that, that I'm experiencing as me walking on air is a reminder that even though I'm grounded in my human experience, in my physicality, I have abilities beyond what are apparent in my waking reality most of the time, which is probably why I don't remember most of my dreams. I suspect that I fly and walk on, walk on air probably all the time when I dream. I, I don't know because I don't remember. But I would suspect that, that my connection with spirit and with my, the essential reality and nature of who I am occurs regularly, whether I remember it or not. So I had a point of reference when I woke up this morning that was a little bit lighter and a little bit more above <laughs> what I've been experiencing a lot in recent days. And as I looked at some of the responses, not only from this morning, but as I remember responses from previous days, I know that, that I affect different people or that these videos affect different people in different ways because each of you is watching from your own point of reference from your own point of view, from your own experience, through your own filters. And it's interesting that in the dream, I was back up in Mahoopany, Pennsylvania, the home of the Charmin Paper Products Company, which is what it was called when I worked there many years ago as a lab technician doing scientific analysis and tests. I was actually a process analyst for paper making. The Procter & Gamble Paper Products Company, it's known as now and has been for a long time. But it was Charmin Paper Products Company when I first was employed there. And I was one of the earliest employees hired when they first, not very long after they first opened. I can't even remember the year, 1968, I believe. In any case, I was back up there and I was having a conversation with a lady who was obviously on the ground. She was laying down. I don't know who she was. I'm not sure. An elderly woman. And there were lots of people around us. And some of the people seemed to be able to see me. Some of them thought they could see me but weren't sure. They were sort of scratching their heads. 
and some of them were completely oblivious to the fact that I was there, even though I was having a conversation with this lady that they could see. What does all that mean? <laughs> dreams, are in, dreams and visions are curious things, to say the least, and certainly the skeptics and the rationalists are not going to even believe that they have any validity at all. Carl Jung would beg to differ, and so would many psychologists that really study in depth the human soul, which is what psychology is, the study of or a word about the soul. But people are affected differently. That's why I'm the paradox man. I'm going to be perceived differently by different people. And I know that, and it's perfectly okay, and it's to be expected. Some people can see who I am. Others may have glimpses of, of seeing what I'm doing or what spirit is doing through me. And some are completely oblivious. They haven't even begun to awaken yet. So wherever you are in that, in that description or some, something that I didn't describe, it doesn't matter. In this ninth wave, we're waking up. We're beginning to remember that we are more than just a physical body. Going back to the dream, and, and I know, I, I mean, I'm speaking from my heart, and sometimes when I get interrupted like this to go back to something that I thought I already covered. But anyway, as I was leaving the lady, I says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home, and I'm going to just meander up the Susquehanna River and the, through the beautiful endless mountains of Wyoming and Bradford counties. On my way back home, which is where I used to live, home was in Evergreen, Pennsylvania, and Dushore, Pennsylvania, and Tawanda, Pennsylvania, and Wysox, Pennsylvania, all somewhat along the, the Susquehanna River. Well, actually, some of them weren't, but they weren't. Far, none of them were far from the Susquehanna River. But I was going to wander up the Susquehanna River and and go home. And and the lady that I was talking to says, "What are you going to do with your car?" <laughs> Reminding me that I'm still in a physical body. And I don't know why I had to share that, but obviously I did or I wouldn't have been reminded to bring it back. But these things are going to affect each of you in a different way. But I want to remind you that every one of you walks on air. <laughs> even you rationalists, even you modernists, even you skeptics. Because who you are is not just a physical body living here in three dimensions on planet Earth in 2011, in the month of April. This is our time, and this is our place to experience our life as a physical being. But we're more than that. We're more than that. We are spirit, and we are connected through spirit to all that is. And in spirit, we are aware of our connection, even though myself, I was aware that I had a body. To me, I looked, my, my orb looked just like my body looks. And some could see it and some couldn't. This lady, this divine feminine, I'm going to call her, my muse, I'll call her, this woman of great wisdom, she and I were able to communicate. We had a conversation going on in my dream. And it continued when I woke up. <laughs> it continued. So I don't know how this is going to affect you. I was going to talk about some of the things that have been going on in my life in regard to the Republic for the United States of America, and more specifically the Florida Republic, of which I am Secretary of State. And I don't know if that will happen tomorrow or not, but it will happen in the relative near future. But there's been things going on that have been grounding me for sure. But I'm here day after day, faithfully like the sun coming up, to remind every one of you that tunes in and listens and shares these videos with your friends some of whom will get it and some of whom will not, <laughs> and it's okay. 
Don't beat them over the head with it because we're not trying to establish a religion. We're trying to go beyond the religions that are already established and have burdened us with, by strapping us down and limiting us and causing us to judge each other and to step out of the essential reality that we are, which is love. So again, we're not establishing a religion, we're not establishing some faith or some doctrine or some creed. I'm willing to be all things to all of you and to share myself truthfully with you, to share my experience, I should say, truthfully with you. Sometimes my presentation may not be perfect. I'm certainly no, I certainly know it pushes some of your buttons. I'm not doing this in a professional manner. I'm speaking to you just from my heart. Some resonate with that, some don't, and it's okay. It's perfectly okay, and it's to be expected because not everybody is at the same stage of waking up yet and remembering that each of us is a part of the divine. Regardless of the role, whether it's a dark role or a light role, we're all one. That's a literal reality, a literal reality from the spiritual perspective and vantage point. There's an interconnection that is amazing, and it is love. It is love. And somehow, despite all the problems that we see arising around us in our lives and in the world, somehow that love and the light of that love and the truth of that love is going to become clearer and clearer and clearer as we move in to conscious co-creation because of our unity consciousness. So the next time you're walking on air, smile and say thank you to Spirit for bringing back to your conscious memory that despite all the stuff in the physical world that is happening you are above it and lighter than that and yet you are having the human experience embrace it with love and thanksgiving be grateful and thankful for everything in your world in everything give thanks for this is the will of God concerning you. Lots happening. Lots will continue to happen. We're moving into a higher and higher state of consciousness and a lightness that will elevate us, again reminding us we are love and we are all together in this thing regardless of our role. I leave you with that this morning and I send you my blessing from my heart and from my higher self that is in communion with your higher self. Namaste.